When Martin Müller goes to work at Schönefeld Airport, he takes a journey through time. His job is to fly a Douglas DC-3, the sturdy propeller plane used in the 1948 Berlin airlift and fondly called Rosinenbomber or candy bomber by West Berliners. It's the only one in Europe still licensed to carry passengers. Müller moved to Berlin from southern Germany just to fly the plane and he's also grown fond of the city. My name is Martin Müller. I'm a pilot for Air Service Berlin. I fly the candy bomber over Berlin almost every day, and it's always a thrill to usher in the new season in spring. And you can get a bird's eye view of Berlin, one of Europe's greenest cities, freshly in bloom. Air Service Berlin offers sightseeing flights over the German capital. Müller is in charge of the candy bomber, and you can clearly see by the way he looks after his lady that he really loves the vintage plane. One of Müller's favorite places to go when he's grounded is the historic heart of Berlin. His first recommendation is the Berlin Cathedral on Museum Island. Müller likes to come here to relax and recharge his batteries. But the pilot also likes loftier heights, so climbing the steps to the dome is part of his routine. We've managed to climb the many steps up to a height of 50 meters, where we're rewarded with a wonderful view. Potsdamer Platz and the Reichstag are right here in front of us. There are many places in Berlin where you can get a great view of the city, but I like this one because of the reasonable price, the vigorous climb up, and because you can stay as long as you like. Admission to the cathedral is just five euros. Müller's second recommendation is in the western part of the city. We're now at the German Museum of Technology, my second highlight. I chose this museum above all because it shows a broad range of technology, from aviation to railways to mathematical experiments for children to try. The museum boasts 25,000 square meters of exhibition space, making it hard to choose a starting point. This Berliner by choice makes a beeline for the planes and old engines. This is basically the same thing you find in our candy bomber, the DC-3, only there are two. Every visitor can experience technology, try things out themselves, and learn a lot in the process. Next, Müller takes us to the Teltow Canal, his third recommendation. Barge tractors used to tow ships along the canal. Now the wide paths are wonderful for taking long, relaxing walks. The green oasis is situated in the heart of the Stiglitz district, and few people besides the locals are aware of it. I like it here because you can jog for kilometers, provided you're in good shape, of course. And there are some really wonderful cafes on the banks of the Telto Canal. Becker Park is among them. After a long day in the big city, it's an ideal place to relax and enjoy a cappuccino at sundown. <laughs> 